So here's the prediction. The people who are associated with the left and even the right are going to be in a condition where they know nuclear is the only thing they should be saying in terms of the primary solution, not the only thing we should do. Because it makes sense to do solar, it makes sense to do wind, and at least try to iterate them to their best versions, no matter what. So we should do all all energy sources, but nuclear is the only one that's going to make a big difference. Um, You're going to find that people can't say they support it because its reputation is so big and there are still so many people who would be against it and you wouldn't want to get that wrong, that you're going to have this weird situation, so here's the prediction, where people will, instead of coming out in favor of it, will come out, here's, here's the prediction, people will start coming out not opposed to it. It's going to, it's going to look weird. So instead of people saying, yeah, we should look pretty hard at nuclear, they're going to say, I'm not saying we shouldn't look at it because nobody wants to say nuclear is a good idea. Why haven't, why haven't we talked about it more? I'm putting it right in my plan. There is one and only one way to go. Nuclear is the only way we know of that could possibly make a difference at the scale we need in time. People can't say that because it would be such a Uh, a big mental change from where they might have been even a year ago when they knew less about it. Apparently Bloomberg has announced some big expensive Green New Deal climate initiative. I don't know the details, but I guess he's put up a lot of his money and it's to push Um, energy that uh, would be better for the planet. But it doesn't mention nuclear. So here's Bloomberg talking about uh, putting vast amounts of his own money up to try to figure out how to combat climate change. And it doesn't mention nuclear. What do you make of that? I think you'd have to make, make of that that he's a fraud. I hate to say that because I've been sort of a fan of his. Uh, I liked his his quirky, do whatever it takes, not to wed to one side or the other. There was something about his independence uh, that I liked. But what do I make of the fact that he leaves out nuclear and nuclear is, as far as basically anybody who knows anything about energy would tell you that that's the only solution and it's the only thing he left out. If the only solution is the only thing you left out, you're not really a credible player, even with your half a billion dollars or whatever it is. Now, apparently one of his aides was asked about nuclear, and the answer from one of his aides, and and here again, it's not even Bloomberg they they talk to, it's an aide, and the aide had some kind of passive, um, non-committal statement about, well, we don't dislike nuclear. We're not, we're not completely opposed to it under the right situation. I'm, that's my own words, not the AIDS. But the sense of it was, rather than saying, oh, we've kind of done a, a cursory view of what the big opportunities are, and it's obvious that nuclear is the only one that can work, therefore we're going to put a lot of emphasis on that. That's what would have made sense. That would, be, that would indicate someone who had done their homework, just a little bit, not a ton. You don't have to do a lot of homework to find out that nuclear energy is the only way out of climate change disaster if you believe climate change disaster is coming. Uh, And the aid just acts like, well, we don't completely rule it out. Is that the bold leadership you want to see? That the only thing that could work, well, we haven't ruled it out yet. That's about as weak and Uh, I don't know what to make of it, because here's what I think is happening. So here's my hypothesis, and uh, if if my hypothesis is correct, you will see much of the same same phenomenon. So here's a prediction. Are you ready? Prediction is this. Number one, nuclear energy as the prime solution for climate change is guaranteed. So this is prediction one. 
that whatever people are saying about nuclear energy as a solution for climate change, it's starting to get, it's becoming more and more of the conversation. I think most of you would agree that a year ago, people were not talking about nuclear energy as the obvious solution for climate change as much. People who knew stuff were talking about it, but the public wasn't kind of in that conversation yet. But today, sitting here today, <laughs> wouldn't you agree that, that the media has clearly made a turn? There, there is a very clear turn. You can see it in the reporting, the mentions of it, the, the frequency that Generation 4 comes up and all that. And so here's the prediction. The people who are associated with the left and even the right are going to be in a condition where they know nuclear is the only thing they should be saying in terms of the primary solution, not the only thing we should do. Because it makes sense to do solar, it makes sense to do wind, and at least try to iterate them to their best versions, no matter what. So we should do all, all energy sources, but nuclear is the only one that's going to make a big difference. Um, you're going to find that people can't say they support it because its reputation is so big and there are still so many people who would be against it and you wouldn't want to get that wrong, that you're going to have this weird situation, so here's the prediction, where people will, instead of coming out in favor of it, will come out, here's, here's the prediction, people will start coming out not opposed to it. It's going to, it's going to look weird. So instead of people saying, yeah, we should look pretty hard at nuclear, they're going to say, I'm not saying we shouldn't look at it because nobody wants to say nuclear is a good idea. Why haven't, why haven't we talked about it more? I'm putting it right in my plan. There is one and only one way to go. Nuclear is the only way we know of that could possibly make a difference at the scale we need in time. People can't say that because it would be such a uh, a big mental change from where they might have been even a year ago when they knew less about it, when they thought nuclear was dangerous before they learned that the technology has moved forward. So look for that. That's a prediction. Lots of people saying, I'm not saying we should not do it. And fewer people saying, oh, yeah, we should go do nuclear. All right. <clears throat>